Atlas is certainly a $20,000 <laughs> Microsoft Surface Hub pen display cost. Put that on the wish list, my business manager upstairs. Uh, that's something we need down here. Could you imagine this thing? Uh, you, could, but, you could do the seven thousand dollar model. We could probably to, no, we, no, no, we're no. going all in. All in. <laughs> She's still chewing pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we had so much food for a podcast. You probably t they probably ten bits because they were just up north from Cleveland and everything. So well, that's why you show us from here up because you, I actually am as big as this couch. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's a it's a very awkward body type. Um, there's a the bigger one. The there's the big difference one. is primarily the the TV size, right? Right, 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 <laughs> right. Basically, uh, so so I mean, it's 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 a Surface Hub. It's it's a Surface tablet, right? It, it, and, and it's and they got some kind of great deal, and they're making these in America, I think. They're making them locally. They're not outsourcing these at all. Uh, so, yeah, $20,000 for an 84-inch 4K version, which means you can, which means they just put, uh, I think they just put 8K uh, video on YouTube. I think I actually have a story in here about that, too. So you can watch that if you have the bandwidth. Good luck. Um, also, there's uh, what's the 55 inch version is available for seven thousand dollars, and that's only it is only only HD at 1080p. I think we can get away from that with that actually. <laughs> I, I, think, I think the important thing is is that it has a hundred simultaneous touch points, so you could have ten people touching it simultaneously with all their fingers, and it would actually register every tap. Wow, so can I play Simpsons Tapped Out with this thing with all my friends? That, or you could do some kind of crazy 10-player um, air hockey simulator <laughs> and use your. everybody uses different fingers. Oh, it'll thing. be the best game of Fruit Ninja ever, <laughs> which I think they do have on there, so... Um, okay. All right. Go check that out. Check that out. I mean, that was, that was kind of a fun thing. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's actually getting this. Apparently, Twit is already going to buy one. They already have this on the wish list. So look out for we're that. Looking at these, we're looking at of these. Of course, kind of, you guys kind of are looking at these things. But it's, it's, you, it's one of those things where. What do you work for? We, what do you work for? We, I, you know, I'm just, uh, in lieu of telling people what you actually work for, what's the name of the bank from uh, How I Met Your Mother? GNB, oh, right? Goliath, National, Goliath Bank. National Bank. That's that's how we're going to say that you work for from now on. Listen, Sheila over there at Goliath <laughs> National Bank is going to have one of these, at least one on every floor in their cool. in their fancy new building. <laughs> they probably the, already the do. The question starts to become is, you know, when you look at true video conferencing and, and codecs and and how how a lot of that actually works. A lot of times, it seems, from my understanding, is it's actually a piece of specialized hardware. That's, that that kind of goes into the room and then handles all of that video transfer and, and compression and things of that nature, and and throwing a Windows box with a bunch of applications on top of it, I'm not a hundred percent sure this that's the best way to do it. Now I'm by no means an audio video uh, specialist, Sorg. You'd have way more knowledge than I would on on the the concept of trying to push massive amounts of video from a bunch of endpoints into a single point and then redistributing that back out. Mm. I mean, this, this device is kind of trying to be its own little Google Hangout. Did you, did you see server. the problems we had at the beginning of this show? Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that pretty much illustrates my expertise. Uh, but no, what, I mean, that's, I mean, we're doing this with no budget. We're not an AV team at a, at a Goliath national bank. Um, I, I'm, you, I'm you don't have $20,000 large tablets hanging off twenty thousand dollars <laughs> i would need to i would not be able to do that uh <laughs> can i take a loan out like my car for this thing what well, where i'm interested in is you know there's it, it takes a certain amount of using this type of device repetitively to get used to to get used to using it right Mm -hmm. So you're going to have these styluses and, and it's a touch screen and you're going to have your finger, right? And you, it's not, people need to get over the fact that they're not going to walk up to a whiteboard and grab a different color marker and draw on a whiteboard. You're drawing with probably some kind of capacitive stylus or some kind of rubber nubbed 
stylus that's not the same as that marker. And that's maybe for our demographic, it's, it's a, it's easier for us to adapt to that theory of, you know, the digital natives versus what's with the, there's the digital natives versus the, and I can't remember what the other, the, the other groups called, but that concept, I don't know how well this is going to sell to your Goliath national bank type. Is it going to sell to your four moms? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. But it, to, to hit mass penetration, I think it's going to take a lot of time for people. This, this isn't a mass, this is not a mass penetration project product. No. I mean, no, I, and I, I think, I'm not even saying even for the, even for the companies that, can afford this type of technology. But then again,